Hi friends. We're going to see what Spirit wants to talk about today. Um, let's start with one of these. Alright Spirit, I'm going to get a general idea of what you want to talk about today. The one. And what about this one? Or the one? Would you like to talk about? Roots. Sensing. And on the back of the deck is faith. So far I'm getting following your heart. Following your own path. Your own roots. Where you need to spread to get nutrients like a tree. What other messages would you like to bring out, Spirit? What other messages would you like to bring out? Hidden talents. The underworld. Werewolf. Exploring wildness. And on the back, protection. Okay, so, so far, Spirit is telling us that they are protecting us through our own faith. So, as long as we have faith in ourselves, in what we believe, what we feel, we're protected. Meaning, if it's right for us, if it's supposed to be where we're going, it'll work out well. If it's not, that's where those blockages and start coming up. That's kind of the universe letting you know, hey, not this way, hey, not that way, hey, try something else. And it might not be a whole different idea. It might just kind of, you know, take a couple tries to back out and get going. So, what else would Spirit like to add to this message? I'm listening. Okay, so part of the process of getting to ourselves, getting on the right path, is by listening to our own darkness. Meaning, when someone does something and it makes you mad, Instead of getting mad and, well, hi, sweetums. Hi, this is Kitty Kitty. Oh, thanks. So if someone gets mad, or you get mad at someone, instead of actually focusing on being mad at that person, you're mad because your body is actually trying to send you a message saying, hey, there's something wrong here and not necessarily with this situation. So if you're mad at someone for something, reality is you're actually mad at yourself for something. And once you start looking into that rabbit hole, then you can really get to the root of that issue. And once you can get to the root of that issue, you can heal it, and then you don't get mad about that thing anymore, at all. It's gone. Hi. Yeah, this would have annoyed me a long time ago, but you're so sweet. Yes, and then you're supposed to be here. Yeah, part of other lessons that we learn when we start letting go and not holding on to all that anger and that rage and I've noticed every time that I've gotten mad and I went and went to my room and just laid down and was like, okay, I'm mad. Why am I mad? Why am I actually mad? What about this is making me angry? You know? Um, so start asking yourself those questions. Like, what am I actually mad at? And you start going down a rabbit hole. If you need to, write it down because sometimes you get caught up in that anger and you get kind of distracted. So you can take a journal and write down like, what am I mad about? And then write everything down. And then 
when you start clearing that stuff out, I've noticed and healing from it, you actually start coming into your own superpowers. Um, it's a weird thing, but when I'm on, like when I'm in the car with my husband and we're talking about stuff and I'm making a, a solid point or something the universe wants to make a point about, they'll play a song on the radio that goes exactly with what I'm saying. <laughs> it's crazy. It's happened a lot. And uh, weird little things like that will happen. I call them little superpowers. But every single person has their own superpower. Own superpowers. The more that you can get to yourself, the one. Oh, yeah. The one. Kitty like the one. The more great things happen. Isn't that right? Yeah. Well, what do you think, Kitty? Is that it? All right, have a good day.